India is primarily an agricultural country. More than 70% population is engaged in agriculture, either directly or indirectly. The present level of major food grain production of about 220 million tons per year has to be increased at least by 10% annually to feed the increasing population. Through introduction of improved farm implements and machines for appropriate farm mechanization, the productivity can be increased. A good seed bed is a prerequisite for raising a good crop. Traditional seed bed preparation by animal power is a time consuming and strenuous process. A good seed bed can be prepared by primary and secondary tillage operations. A mouth board plow completely turns the soil and top vegetation is converted into green manure. A cultivator breaks the soil clots and makes an even surface. A disc harrow pulverizes the soil into fine seed bed. For wetland rice, a puddler can be used to prepare a puddled bed that will reduce percolation of water and regeneration of weeds. Seeding and planting is very important to get desired plant population in the field. Traditional seeding does not give optimum plant population and uniform distribution of plants. A good number of designs of seed come fertilizer drills and planters are now available. The manual one row and four row jute drills can sow jute and other small seeds. Animal drawn, three row seed come fertilizer, drill is suitable for most of the common seeds. The low cost seed come fertilizer drill is specially suitable for small farmers. The inclined plate planter gives uniform spacing between seeds. It is suitable for planting maize, pigeon pea, groundnut, sorghum and other widely spaced crops. Tractor drawn seed drills have been quite popular for drilling common seeds. The tractor drawn 7 row modular planter can be used where seed to seed spacing is to be maintained. The power tiller operated seed drill can be used by farmers having power tillers. The plot seed drill is a special machine for breeders experiments on varietal trials. It is also suitable for seed farms. Rice is the major cereal crop in India. Traditionally, rice seedlings are manually transplanted by laborers. During transplanting season, large labor force is required. It is estimated that about 30% area is delayed transplanted due to shortage of laborers. This reduces yields. The 6 row manual rice transplanter is the first step towards mechanization of rice transplanting. It covers 0.3 to 0.4 hectare area a day and is suitable for small farmers. The self-propelled 8 row rice transplanter is a riding type machine. It can cover an area of 1.5 to 2 hectares a day. Optimum plant population can be achieved by the machine. Mad seedlings are required for machine.
machine transplanting. With a little training, farmers can grow mat seedlings at a much lower cost. Machine transplanted rice crop gives equal or higher yields compared to the manual transplanting due to timeliness, better plant population and higher number of primary tillers. Controlling weeds and insect pests at appropriate times is essential for higher productivity. Manual weeding by Khurpi is a time consuming and costly process. Wheel hose can be used for weeding in upland row crops. Wheel hose remove weeds very rapidly. Time and cost saving may be more than 80%. The animal drawn tool frame can remove weeds from 3 to 4 rows at a time. The tractor mounted long boom sprayer can be used for application of herbicides at pre-planting, pre-emergent and post-emergent stages. The knapsack power sprayer is very effective in application of plant protection chemicals. The twin knapsack sprayer with long boom can also be used for spraying plant protection chemicals in large fields. Harvesting is another labor intensive operation on the farm. More than 90% area is harvested manually by sickle. Timely harvesting can save the crop from adverse weather and excessive shattering losses. The self-propelled walking type reaper windrower is suitable for harvesting cereal crops. It can also harvest soya bean and other legumes. The self-propelled riding type reaper windrower can be used for harvesting cereal crops in larger areas. These machines harvest the cereal crops and make windrows with ear head at one side. The combined harvester cuts the crop, threshes and cleans the grain simultaneously. It is a big, successful machine for harvesting cereals and pulse crops on custom hire basis. The plot combine is a special harvesting machine for feeders, experimental plots on seed varieties. The multi-crop thresher developed to Thresh wheat, rice, Bengal grom, pigeon pea, maize, soya bean, mustard, safflower and linseed can be used by small farmers. Operated by a 5 horsepower motor, the machine gives an output of 2 to 3 quintal grains per hour for the common crops. The high capacity multi-crop thresher is operated by 20 horsepower electric motor or by 35 horsepower tractor PTO giving output of 5 to 8 quintal grains an hour for the common crops. The groundnet decorticator is operated by one person. It separates groundnet kernels from the pods. The output is about 50 kg kernel an hour. A wide range of improved farm implements and equipment are now available to suit the varied requirements of the Indian farmers to ensure timeliness of operation, increase production and productivity and reduce drudgery.